I'm here at a rather wet and windy ITU Grand Final in Rotterdam and behind me I have the Elite Bikes ready to go into T1. So I'm going to have a walk around and see if there's any weird and wonderful tech. So I'm beside Richard Murray's new specialized tarmac and we've noticed that he's got the Ceramic Speed OSPW jockey wheels and chain for reduced friction. And we've also noticed that he has a new S-Works crankset which is yet to be released so we can't give you a whole lot of detail on that yet. But really interesting feature. We're here with Flora Duffy's Scott Foyle with customized paintwork on the forks and even her name and world champion on the rear stays. And she even has her clip-on aero bars for today's race. Maybe a breakaway happening, we don't know, we'll have to see. We're here with Belgium athlete Gelguin's Cervelo S5 and he has a two in power crank set and on that he has the carbon, carbon chain rings. It's a really cool setup. This is Rachel Klammer of the Netherlands bike and what's interesting are the tubs that she's using. She has the Dugast 24mm tubs which you actually normally see the pros using for classic stages where you have cobbles and bad conditions which we have a lot of here. This is Jody Stimson's Specialized S-Works Tarmac and whilst it's not weird and wonderful tech, what's interesting is how a few of them have put their sunnies and their gels onto their bike and this is really cool, she's put it with her elastic so she can whip it off coming out of T1 nice and easily. Right, we are here beside Richard Varga's Trek Madon and to be honest all we're interested in here is the paintwork, check it out, Slovakian colours, very cool. This is Japan's Yukasato Cervelo R5 and here she's got the Control Tech clip-on aero bars but clearly she has run out of space for her bike computer. She's got the Pioneer bike computer here. Uh, so she has actually attached it from the top cap outwards so she still has it on the bike and she can see it visibly. We're here with Jan Saluska of Czech Republic. He's warming up for the race and he is on his S-Works Avenge and he's got the clip-on TT Tri specialized tri bars. We have seen a lot of the athletes with clip-on tri bars here. They can't extend beyond the levers, but these are a really cool addition designed specifically for the bike. Again, for the bad conditions and the surfaces here in Rotterdam is we've got cobbles on a lot of the bike course. We found another athlete using 28 mil tires. We have Ashley Gentle of Australia and she's using the Vittoria Corsa 28 mil tires. Here with Fernando Laza's BH G7 Pro. It's a rather striking paintwork. You'll definitely spot this bike in transition. We've also noticed with the conditions this weekend, a lot of the pros are opting for shoe covers or toe covers on the bike, just to keep their feet warm so they can run off without ice blocks for feet. I'm here with Andreas Salvesberg of Switzerland's Specialized S-Works Avenge. And the thing that we've noticed here is the bike and junction box mount. It's really sleek, it's been designed by Specialized specifically for these handlebars and for the Venge. This is South African Gillian Sanders Scott Foyle. And in this women's race, there seems to be quite a few using these clip-on aero bars. And here, Gillian is using the Control Tech Impel clip-on aero bars. We've got para-athlete Lauren Stebbins Trek Madon with us today. Now excuse a bit of dirt because she has literally just won a silver medal at the ITU World Championship, so we'll let her off on that one. Unique thing about this bike, Lauren is a one-arm amputee and she's only got the use of her left hand. So that means everything is controlled on the left-hand side, brakes and shifting. And it does mean for the brakes that when she puts on the brakes, it stops front and back simultaneously. Lauren's got the Dura Ace Di2 electronic group set and with that she's got the synchro shift which means when she gets to the top of her cassette the chain automatically drops off the big ring down to the small ring on the front and then drops down a couple of gears at the back to compensate. So Lauren also has the ability to move down on the front derailleur with this button just here and she can move back up with the sprint shifter here. So there we go, there's some interesting bikes and tech here from Rotterdam at the ITU Grand Final. And you can see more videos from us by clicking on the globe and subscribing to GTN. And to see our Draft Legal Racing Explainer video, just click up here. And to see our How to Swim Around Boys video, just click here.